Hey guys, so I'm not totally sure what the title is or what the topic is of this video, but a few months ago I was at a gathering and <clears throat> uh, something was framed in a way that made a lot of sense to me. And so I've just been kind of sitting with it. And then I sat down, filmed a video, like 20 minutes long, and no audio. So um, I just kind of got discouraged that maybe whatever I was trying to communicate wasn't meant to be shared through this platform. But I'm now in a space and just kind of thinking about it again as... Um, as I guess some more exciting things are happening in my life that are moving me forward, it's just got me thinking again. So when we think about our lives and who we are, what we're trying to accomplish, I think it can get overwhelming at times. We can feel trapped by you know, this vision of who we see ourselves to be or who other people see that we are. It's really important to understand that while this is your life and you are in control of it to some degree, very debatable topic, but you're also playing the role of whoever it is that you are. So while I'm, I'm Annabelle, I can get really attached to this idea of, you know, who, who I am, how I'm going to be perceived by other people, am I going to perform well, am I going to stand out in some way, and those are all totally fine, but to some degree, those questions that I was just saying are not actually that important. They don't matter in the grand scheme of things. As long as you are bringing this person inside yourself to the forefront and giving your best effort every single day to be as true to yourself as you can be, that's the only thing you have to do. And so looking at your life as a role that you're playing, so I'm playing the role of Annabelle and you're playing the role of you, it takes a certain pressure off of you, a certain expectation that you know really connects this physical body with you know who I'm perceived to be. And instead, it's almost as if it's theater, it's play. It's like, in this lifetime, these are the gifts, the talents, the challenges, the situations, the experiences I've been put in, that I've been gifted with, and how am I going to bring those forward in the best way possible? with this being and this body. And so I also want to say that as much as this idea has been life-changing for me, I recognize that it can also be extremely dangerous because obviously everything needs to be done in a balance and being too um, self-absorbed, attached to your own life and what you're going to accomplish and how other people view you and see you and perceive you, that's clearly not good. Now on the other side of that spectrum is being so disassociated with your life that it becomes a problem, that you care so little about this physical body and who you are and all the things I just mentioned that you just appear really uh, abstract. You're not attached. You're not in your body. 
Now on the other side of the spectrum, you can get really out of your body. I think part of um, this physical body, this life, is you know that aspect of there's an I, there's an individual, there's uh, a me that is kind of running the show. And so on the other side, when you take on this idea that you're playing a role, you completely take away that idea of, of I in, in that very, I don't want to say egotistical, but in the very mainstream understanding of, you know, I as the individual, I earned the award, I went on this experience. And yet, your life can become very challenging if you were to just look at your life as a role that you were playing. It's like every place you go, oh, I'm the role of Annabelle. And so you are validating everything you're doing because this is who you, who you are. This is how, how you came here. And so any wrongdoing oh, doesn't matter because I'm just playing my role here. So it's really important to have a balance. But more often than not, I think we get caught up in the other side, in the I, in the, in the individual, in, in my life, and what I'm going to accomplish. This idea that you are playing the role of this human being in this theater of life, I think is a pretty extraordinary thing to visualize and, and to just carry with you throughout your life. And um, I might suggest you to journal about this. I've journaled about it a handful of times, but for me, this idea really um, validated uh, for one, astrology, and another would be forest therapy because there's certain circles that you probably are in in your life, um, but there's circles that I'm in in my life where obviously there's expectations put on, put on you. There are judgments that are made based on your age, based on your race, based on where you come from. And so it just kind of lightened me to some degree to understand that, you know, other people have other gifts, but this role that I'm playing in this lifetime, I do need to move forward with this forest therapy stuff. I do need to put myself out there. I do, I am ready to bring forward these ideas and these these skills that are within me because not everyone has those skills. And it's a blessing to some degree that I have found this so early in my life and I'm recognizing it as an opportunity to really move forward to help benefit the world and each other. Um, so I guess most of all, it's brought me a lot of confidence in what I'm doing with my life. And for that, I'm super grateful because there isn't much else that I would want in my life. Having the confidence to go after the things that you love, the things that you're passionate about, matters so much. So sharing that way of looking at life feels really good and I'm excited to see if anyone else has heard that before or feels the same way. So I would just ask that you, know, you take a few questions into consideration after I've shared this. What role is it that you are playing here in this lifetime and how can you approach this role how can you bring this role forward more? And how can you bring forward the gifts and talents and challenges of this role more effectively? All right, that's all I have for this video. 
Hope you guys are having a awesome day and I will see you super soon in another video.